that is that is what it is. And is they raise a child. So yes. what kind of child are they? Chai chai? Chai chai. Although there's like I think there's probably as many recipes for chai as there are people in India. So this is our recipe for so this chai. This is our recipe for chai. And we're not even in India. No. So <sighs> So what we got? Come here. Come here, camera person. <laughs> come on, come on. You yeah. love it. Come and see the chai. Uh, come and see the ingredients that we have here. Yes. We have cinnamon. Ooh. I just use cinnamon stick, but we don't have any right now. So Green cardamom okay. pots. Cloves. And those are your main ingredients. <coughs> we also have the nutmeg, which is here. And a little bit of ginger, which I'll cut up over here. Okay. And our other main ingredient. And the main, main, main ingredient. Tea. Tea. Black tea. Also, we'll use some milk. Yes. Just normal milk, squeezed from the teats of a moo cow. And some water. So, how much pound of cinnamon do you think? I do you don't know. For... Just pour some in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I tend to do. Come to the panel camera, baby. Come here. Oh, who's filming us? Our sometime editor. She's reluctant. <laughs> cinnamon. 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 <laughs> it's like the cinnamon. How many cardamom pots shall we do? Wait, how much is that? That is a half a thing. How about how much did you actually use? Uh, one of them. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. I'm putting in four cardamom pots. Do we want to use this half teaspoon again? Ye possibly. <laughs> I'm not good. I normally put in three or four cloves. I'm going to put in three cloves. I usually put in more, but you don't like cloves. I just like cloves. Okay. Now, typically we usually use either ginger or nutmeg. Nutmeg's a bit of a deviant choice, to be honest, I think. I'm probably the only person. So I'm only going to put in a lid foot. A lid foot. Nice. And what's that? About a tablespoon? Tablespoon? No way is that a tablespoon. Let's measure it. Come on. Half a tablespoon. Show the camera how much of a tablespoon. Oh, can you see the spoon? Good, right, now it's going in. Okay, and now... Come and see the pan. Come and see the pan. Come and see the pan. You can see our cornucopia of spice. We should probably put it over this side. Cornucopia of spice, I tell you. Oh, look at it. Okay, now we basically fill the pan. This water's already been boiled. Just before we started this video. We're so organised. So it shouldn't take very long to boil. And once it does boil, it'll take about 20 minutes and then we'll be back with you. And we're back! Yes! So this is the exciting bit where I actually make this concoction into tea. Come and have a look at it. It should okay. be a nice brown colour now for you. It's been boiling for about 15 minutes. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes. Bubble, bubble, bubble. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in some milk. Um, for those of you of a vegan persuasion, I'm going to put a recipe for vegan chai in the comments. But the rest of us who drink this fatty sweat, this bovine breast milk, we're just going to use that. So... Come and see the pan. Come and see the pan. Don't drop the camera into the pan. Anyway. Yeah, that's about right. Now, you have to keep stirring it. Because otherwise, it will bubble over. But because that just came out of the fridge, we'll put the heat up on it. No, 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 it's too hot. It's too hot for my hands. Oh, right, okay. Put the heat out of it. Camera, camera, camera. Yes, I can just do something else. What do you mean? Your face is... You care so much about our team. Look pretty, almost. Yeah, we could probably say this. Okay, so this okay, tea. Come and see, Cole. Come and see the tea. It is now at the point of readiness. So take it off the tea. Bring it over here. Which will now put in the tea. One. About that much tea. Two. Two spoon scoops. Yeah, maybe a third one or half, but a bit more. Two and a half spoon scoops. And now it is nice and stirred in. And using your tusky strainer, we'll now pour it into mugs. And drink it. Join us in a moment. Yes. 
sing a song. It's a long time because right now I'm 23. I'm serious. Got some tea with some herbs and spices, also milk, and also sugar. This way, yeah, tastes like tea. Okay. Hello, Kraken. Is his name Phil? No, it's Augustus. Not Phil McCracken. No, Augustus. Because August is the eighth month. Augustus means eight, I think. And this is an octopus with eight legs. Augustus. That would be Octavius. I think it's Augustus because Caesar no. was called okay. Octavius. Now we're just in a sea of yellow. Yeah. It's a pretty good wall. Pretty good yellow wall. Never mind. Anyway, enough about that. First thing we should mention is this is chai. It has no sugar in it yet, so it will be undrinkable. I'm going to put several sugars in. I'm going to put quite a lot of sugar in because it's sensible to put a lot of sugar in chai. Uh, no, it's fine. It's okay. I can probably drink it. Quite often you'd put the sugar in with the mix. I quite prefer to do it this way because then you can choose how much sugar goes in. Because it's not something you have to cook in, like the cardamom or the spices or that. Yeah. One we, spoon. We only have one spoon, so. No, I've got this one here. All right, okay. Giant spoon. Giant stirring spoon. Makes you look like a really tiny person. It's my teaspoon. Especially if I do this. This is my teaspoon. That's still mine. What kind of tea did we put in? It was just a generic tea, wasn't it? We didn't mention it. It was a black English breakfast from the English breakfast tin. From the English breakfast tin. So we don't actually remember what it was. Maybe a Twinings? Um, or maybe just like a, a basic, basic, probably supermarket home brand. Or maybe Clipper. Well, yeah, probably Clipper well, actually. I think probably Clipper. Clipper. Probably. Clipper Black English Breakfast. Mm, I put a lot of sugar in that. Back to tea. Ah! Sticky, isn't it? I think this one could have used more ginger. Mm, it's not that gingery. It's because of the Maverick Nutmeg in there. Yeah, oh, Maverick Nutmeg. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like the Maverick Nutmeg. I, oh, just a little I bit. like Nutmeg because it goes really well, I think, with milk. Yeah, good old hot milk recipe. Mm, hot milk, yeah, exactly. nutmeg. You put nutmeg in hot milk, basically. I, this is this recipe is a bit weird for me because I mostly drink vegan chai, which is weird because you put if you use my recipe, you put oats in it because it kind of makes it into oat milk as you're cooking it. And then you add a wee additional bit of um, rice milk at the end mm. instead of cow's milk. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So this has more protein. It does. Also more animal produce. I'm not entirely sure how much protein you're going to get out of a wee teeny bit of milk. There's tons of milk in here. Tons. I poured it. Yeah, but not a huge amount of milk altogether. I definitely put too much sugar in this. <clears throat> and that's why mine tastes better. Can I try your one? I think my mug is slightly bigger. And I put That's a lot less. nicer. Much, much, much nicer. Like, try mine. And be prepared. <laughs> That's like one teaspoon, but it's a big ass teaspoon. No, I put one teaspoon in. Yeah, I think mine was heaps more or something. You need to put an extra sprinkle. Oh, I might put an extra sprinkle. Mm. Yeah. Don't put too much sugar in. Don't put too much sugar in. That's probably how much I normally put in the pan. Oh yeah, our pan 
that you saw had this these two mugs and maybe another mug. Yeah, that's me mugs worth. That's me mugs worth. I think I put in a liter of water. Oh, and but it's it boils probably off. worth saying my mug is bigger than normal mugs. Yeah, you have stripy mug this time. <sighs> oh, I'm enjoying this tea. Yeah. But it's hard to give an opinion about it in an objective way like we normally do, because this is like our recipe. We made it. We made it. Yeah, so this is more of a recipe yeah, it's not really a review. than a review. But we're drinking it now anyway. I'd give it five stars. I'd give it six stars out of five. Probably fair. Except this one I wouldn't because I put so much sugar in. Seven out of... no. <laughs> it's seven out of terrible. Seven out of too sweet. Mine's only three it's out It's like ten out of too sweet. No, that's actually that's that's the right sweetness that one. Okay, it's sweet out of sweet. Sweet out of sweet. Our measuring makes sense. It does. It means you can measure things that aren't related. Like seven out of plant, seven out of sweet. They're kinda equal. Twelve out of blue. Twelve out of blue. Oh. So I think we should start giving things ratings, but we should just be like, right, this is like, you know, twelve out of awesome. Okay. This is seven. This is twelve out of black tea. Yeah, or like this is 17 out of woody. 12 out of earthy. <laughs> 12 out of earthy. 7 out of flowery. Yeah. But 2 out of citrus. Yeah. So this one quite a nice tea. is like 9 out of spicy. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy. 9 out of spicy, 9 out of milky. Yeah, it's really milky. 8 out of sweet. This is 11 out of sweet. But for a normal tea <clears throat> as well, it's like super sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really, really sweet because you put sugar in it. I know. And normally... I can not really put more than half a teaspoon of tea, uh, well, a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar in. Welcome to the video, the birth of ratings. That should be in the comments. Yeah, yeah, this is the one, this is where we invented ratings. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not. It's better than just describing it like licking a stone. <laughs> well, that one was like licking a stone. It was like licking a stone. This isn't like licking a stone at all. No. If anything, what would this be like licking? A chai lollipop? That's hot. A tea flavoured ham. Ugh. I wouldn't do that because it would be made of pig. Ugh. I need to relax. I need to get the tea in into my system. You probably wouldn't do that either because you hate clothes. I don't really like clothes. Chai is a good time for clothes though. It is. You need clothes with chai. It's the only time for clothes. Yeah. Christmas pudding. Do you put clothes in that? Or do you just put it in like meat, meat, mince, mince pie? Mince pie. Yeah, you yeah. put cloves in mince pie. Well, the mince, mince pies hardly have any cloves in them. Hot cross buns? We don't have cloves. I'm not sure if they do or not. Don't they have a lot of spices in them. I think mostly cinnamon. Okay, cloves in ham is horrible. Yeah, because then they taste of cloves. Yes. Cloves in applesauce is also dreadful. Mm, ruins applesauce. Yeah. It's like, what have you done? This was baby food a minute ago. I love baby food. Exactly. It's yeah. so mushy and sweet. And now you're putting clothes in it. And it tastes of ham. Ruined it. Do you have any anything to add chai related? Chai related? Haha, <laughs> no. More to come later. Lucky you. Yeah.